Good morning, good morning, it's me, it's Granny. How are you, how are you today? I say, good morning, good morning, good morning to you. How are you doing and what are you gonna do? We're gonna stay focused, work on our goals. We are gonna eat our food and gonna be gold. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, everybody. It's Keto Granny. Just thought I'd lead off with a little song and dance early this morning. That's my dance. <laughs> you can tell I'm a granny that likes to have fun. I love my grandbabies. I love life. I love living. I love God. God is my everything. He's a way maker. Oh, he is everything, my all and all. How are you all doing this morning? I'm so glad that you're able to join me for 100 days of healthy eating and healthy living with Keto Granny. Eating healthy. What is eating healthy? Um, I believe that eating healthy, especially for myself, it's eating the foods that I like and it's eating the foods that I enjoy. And it, it's that I'm eating foods that are good, that, um, that benefit my body, um, that, you know, make me feel good. Um, it's, they seem to work with my body as, um, giving it the nutrients, the minerals, um, vitamins, everything that it needs to function. Um, I'm learning about, uh, foods, uh, the ones that are good to eat. Um, those, you know, some foods can help cure different things that are going on with your body. I, I'm reading and, and just learning all kind of stuff. Food Cures. Here's one of my books. Nutritional Prescriptions for Remedies for Everything from Colds to Cancer. And it's all about the different foods that we eat. Like it says for asthma here. For asthma. And it tells you. That you can eat things like onions, coffee, green tea, salmon, mackerel, apples, and berries. These things all have asthma. And, it, and it's got so much good information. Talks about diverticulitis. And then it goes on and gives you information as far as some good foods that you can eat. And how these foods, what are the benefits so I don't just, you know, eat food. I like to learn about the foods that I eat. And that's not saying that I know about everything that goes into my body because I don't. I learn every day. And that's what living is about. It's about learning and then living every day and live every day to its fullest. No matter what, live every day to its fullest, whatever it means to you. And you all, if you always have God in the picture, always have God first, then you're going to, you're going to do good because it just seems like having God in your life and you've got purpose, you know, your self-esteem, all of these things just seem to be better if you have God in your life because you've got someone always there and you know that they're there. Okay. Um, I read books like, um. I like the way I have my little desk set up here now, disease free, but it talks about preventing conditions and things. And, and it even mentions foods and different things that you can eat that are good for you. Okay. This one even talking about root vegetables, you know, all food is good. God made all food for us to eat. It's just that we don't eat it in moderation. We eat too much of it. Uh, we grow it differently. We take all the nutrients out the ground. So, you know, some of the foods aren't as good or nutritious as they used to be. So, I like to learn and, and, and study about foods and everything. Hey, and it's just not diet foods. I like regular foods, too. And I got all kind of books. This one was one of my other books, um, Great Meals in Minutes. You know, all the good recipe books that they have out there and stuff. 
Um, now I have a recipe book that I use and I really enjoy it and it's by Marie Emmerich and it's the art of fat loss you guys. She has some great great recipes in there um, for protein sparing modified fasting and she gives you some great information in there about protein sparing modified fasting. She tells you um, about calculating your macros, gives you information to do all of that. I really recommend that you all check out Marie Emmerich. She has a protein sparing modified fasting uh, bread recipe that has just went uh, Google on the internet. And I say that because I use it myself and there are others that use it. There are some other great YouTube channels out there, you guys. I watch, um, um, what is it? Loving It on Keto with Wendy and Harry. That is great to watch. She uses a lot of Marie Emmerich's um, recipes and she makes up her own recipes because once you start doing the protein sparing modified fast and you learn about that bread recipe <coughs> excuse me you can use it in many many ways to make many many things you've heard me say it before in my other videos but it helps you replace bread you can have bread again because if you're doing keto you know that bread is one of the things that's off the list that is off the list if you want to lose weight and reach your goals okay but you're able to have bread you're able to have uh, even sweets sometime like your cakes um, maybe some cupcakes you know <clears throat> and if you want you can read it eat it on a regular basis so once you really get into um, foods and everything that are good for your body um, or how different things can work with your body I mean you'll start trying different things do your research um you know i i follow others and i learn a lot of different things i may go into my computer and put in protein sparing diet or protein sparing modified fasting and it brings up a lot of different stuff where i can get information i'll go in there i put in omad diet it brings up a lot of information put in keto diet put in keto recipes for whatever you want it's going to bring up a lot of information but how are you doing on your journey? I hope you are doing great. I'm having good results. I'm sticking to it. But you know, sometimes I fall off. And when I fall off, I get right back on. The kids, they had a donut on the table yesterday. They ate what they wanted. And they had it still laying on the table yesterday. <laughs> I said, of course, I'm being funny. But they had left for a moment and came back. And I ended up taking a couple of bites of that donut. And then I was like, okay, now y'all got all this stuff laying around here. And this is really, this is, this is really hitting hard for me. <laughs> so like I said, if you fall off, get back. No, it's not so critical that it's going to, uh, you know, mess up your life or mess up that day completely for you. You can stop what you're doing right then and just go back to eating healthy. Because, okay, so they got donuts. So, like I say, I am a food addict. I am a sugar addict. So when I see them do something, I went in my refrigerator and I, I had one more piece of cinnamon bread. So I ate that cinnamon bread last night and I believe added in some meat with it. Oh, some of my keto meatloaf. You guys, yesterday I did meal prep for this week. So I have some uh, keto cheesy enchiladas that are in the refrigerator. Oh, God, they were delicious. And also, I made some keto meatloaf. It was so good. And I used my um, Italian sparing, my protein sparing modified fasting bread that I had in the refrigerator. And um, I used my Italian bread with that. And just cut it up, dried the crumbs out in the oven, and added that because I didn't want to put crackers or anything like that. I made it before to do pork rinds. That's very, very good also. But... I used those. It was so good and delicious. As a matter of fact, I will put some pictures. Well, I have a video of it, so it's about the meal prep. And I have like two or three meal prep videos that I work, had worked on. And some of them I did myself, but yesterday I had someone to help, help me. Well, they held the camera and I could just go for it. So I'm really excited to look at that video and see how it came out. Uh, normally when I'm doing anything, I have to do it by myself. So with the grandkids here and, and the daughter here, they help me with some of my different things. And I really like that kind of teach me other little tricks on the computer. 
because I'm not all that computer literate <laughs> as I used to be. I forgot some stuff, but I am up this morning. I'm getting ready to right behind me, lift a couple of weights, um, you know, go out, go over in the area over there and work out. So find you something to do. Find yourself a workout that you like to do. Let's see what today is because I hadn't even looked on here. I hadn't thought about eating yet. So today is October the 12th. Today, you guys, is a 16-hour fast. The 12th. You see a 16-hour fast, two meals, and a walk today. So today is really, really easy. A 16-hour fast. I have to figure out what I ate last, but normally I fast for at least 16 to 8 hours. So I can eat anywhere. Usually like I eat around 11 or 12 or 1. I usually eat somewhere around there unless I am doing an old man and I will intentionally push my meal back really, really far. How did y'all do on your um, old man this weekend? I did okay, but I had to add in uh, something in the evening time so it wasn't like a big uh, meal but it was something that I added in in the evening time I'm noticing that it, it's kind of hard to eat once a day when others are around eating all the time and you're doing all the cooking so I'm gonna stick to my um, you know high protein keto days my protein sparing modified fasting days and things like that um, and, 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 and it, like I said, if you have to switch your eating days around or your schedule around, do that. Do that. Because you want to make this diet successful for you. Okay? You want to make it successful for you. So, I'm going to go over my usual spiel as I normally do. And that's telling you that boiled eggs are a good protein and fat source on keto. Um, egg whites are very good. And they're a good protein source, while the egg yolks are very good, and they're a good fat source. Um, you can use egg whites for protein-sparing modified fasting bread recipes. But there are also um, recipes that you can use with those egg yolks. Um, Wendy on Loving It on Keto, she uses it for um, cornbread. So that's something I'm interested in trying. But what I use my for, I use my egg yolks for things like lemon curd. I've used them to make lemon meringue pie. Lots of things that you, and I've used them to make like quiche. I use my eggs to make just like uh, creamy eggs. But you can use all parts of the eggs and have some really, really good meals that are very, very beneficial for you. No matter what diet that you're eating. And always keep boiled eggs in the refrigerator. Um, they're a very, very good snack. Um, if you are doing the protein sparing modified fasting and participating in those days, you must have a refeed day after you do your three days of protein sparing modified fasting. Um, you want to eat ex uh, extremely lean meats on those days. If you have some fatty meats, just remember you want to keep your fat uh, low on that day and usually between 30 and 50, I say it's good, but below 50. Um, Maria Emmert, she has a a calculator that you can put the required information in and it will give you a protein spray modified fasting macros so that is something um, that you can do and I'm gonna have all these links below uh, to the macro calculators where you can go in and put in information and find out what your macros are macros are simply just tracking your macronutrients and your main macronutrients that are important when you're dieting are most of your fat your protein and your carbohydrates and I'm not saying they're the only ones important because everything is important you want your body to function and to to work right um, there are other things such as magnesium phosphorus sodium all these things are important so make sure that you are eating healthy and eating correctly you want to always count total carbs for the best weight loss not net carbs net carbs only allow you to eat more carbs I used to use net carbs for an excuse okay um, you want to get seven to eight hours of sleep nightly. Eat to meet your protein goal. You don't have to eat to meet your fat goal or your carb goal. Eat to meet your protein goal. Um, use intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting has many great benefits. And make your intermittent fasting schedule fit to your lifestyle. That's the only way you're going to stick to it. 
you have a singular turnover every 90 days so remember that as long as you're eating healthy um, and, and living healthy putting in you some exercise when you can pick an exercise that you like if it's only sitting and raising up your arms you sit and you raise up your arms if it's only sit and moving your feet you do that that's your exercise and as you can do more stand more endurance then you add in more okay start where you're at and something else important uh, stay away from packaged keto foods a lot of things that you say that you run into that say keto are not keto remember that you have to read your labels and really know I think every now and then I have something prepackaged like I just got those cheese puffs that I showed you all the other day I don't have any out on the table right now it's like show them again but I'm I'm do I've got a review that I'm working on also for that but I'm so glad that you're here. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and join in on the weight loss channel. This is uh, on the weight loss challenge. This is going to be going on through all the holidays. Just, just knowing that you have someone there with you that you can um, um, get encouragement from, get motivation from. So join in on the weight loss challenge, the getting healthy um, and healthy eating and healthy living um, it's something that you'll enjoy so subscribe to my channel that way you won't miss any videos that I share um, like my video if you like the content uh, give me a thumbs up and that way um, I know that you like the content and also YouTube knows that you like the content and my video they'll share it with others also comment below um, let me know what you thought about the video let me know what diet you're doing if you're losing weight if you're following me um i'm losing weight my body is transforming and i noticed that with the protein sparing modified fasting diet my body does a lot more i call it regenerating transforming um a little bit faster i noticed um, things are getting sucked up <laughs> sucked into place a little bit better <laughs> And that can be my imagination just because the scale and everything is moving again. But I am so glad that you're here. Be sure to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Share this video with others, with your friends and stuff. Make, you know, they may want to get in on the challenge and everything. But you all have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Um, I'm going to post the foods that I ate. And I'm going to start trying to do that a little bit better and a little bit different where I can talk normally when I'm eating there's just so much going on around me that I usually just take a picture and get a quick video and that usually works but I want to uh, show my macros to my meals I want to um, you know explain my meals too so this is keto granny saying have a great day I'm going to attach that information at the end and I'll see you later bye bye Okay, now this is the recipe book uh, for Maria, Maria Image, and I have been looking for the hardback for so long, and I got tired of just waiting for it to be reissued on different things, and I looked everywhere. Um, so I did the PDF, uh, the digital download, and what I did was just downloaded this, and I just bought me a little binder from Dollar Tree for a dollar, and I bought me some... Um, what are these sheet cover protectors and I put all this together in here and uh, so anytime I want to try anything protein sparing or anything like that I just grab my little binder and I've got Maria Images the art of fat loss you all this has some good meal plans in it it has some good information in it and when I first got it I, I, I really wasn't expecting um, as much information as I got so I, she has some other books that I'm going to buy also um, because I am really impressed and I really like um, information that she has in here she talks about the thermic effect of food which I've heard about but this is the first time I have really like read some information that I understood <laughs> about about that um, she talks about eating vegetables she talks about the oxidative process how um fat is burned in your body or how your body uses energy all that good information um she gives you also it looks like a protein spraying foods list in here you also get that in the book 
But she's got a lot of great information in here. She talks about supplements. Here. I know I'm holding that kind of. And then she gives a lot of, of recipes. Look at that. Malto meal. So there are a lot of things that I am going to try. I've read a lot of them already. But um, protein sparing. What does this say? Protein sparing pancakes. But there are a lot of good recipes in here. She has um, chocolate angel food cupcakes, juicy ginger chicken breast. So it is not just baked goods, but she has a lot of good recipes in this book. So this is something that I use a lot. And this is something that I would recommend that you, um, uh, you know, get if you're doing a protein spring modified fast. You don't have a lot of information about it. You wanted to learn about it. Plus, you're also wanting to start sampling recipes and all of that. You can get that from this book that Maria Emmerich has. But you all, there are a, a lot of, of great uh, people that you can follow. And, you know, watch and get some great recipes and great recipe ideas. There's Janet Greta. I follow her. She has some great recipes. She's the one that I first uh, tried the cinnamon bread with. You, you know, like I said, you see these different recipes that everyone is using. And the base of it is the protein spray modified fasting uh, protein bread that Maria Emmerich was the first one that I know of to, to have done this or that I have seen or heard about. And it is really, really good. It's a, it's a good tool to have in your arsenal of weapons as you're on your weight loss journey. You know, you're gonna feel like a knight on this journey. Yes, you are, you're gonna feel like a knight on this journey and you can, hey, progress up from being a knight. I now knight you, okay? You are on a journey that is going to require lots of attention. What, is, what does it mean to be a knight? Hmm, that gives me something else to think about. <laughs> But I am so glad that you're here. Have a great day. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. This time I'm leaving for real. Bye-bye.